Hi, it's Joe Gertis, and this is Coffee in the Capital. We're here at the 2024 Pennsylvania Farm Show. No stranger to PSATs, we have Secretary of Transportation, Mike Carroll. Mike coming from the House of Representatives where he was a, a chairman of the uh, Transportation Committee, um, now Secretary of Department of Transportation. Mr. Secretary, you know the importance uh, of local township roads and the, the partnership that we have with uh, the agricultural community. Just wanted to get some of your thoughts on the, on the partnership that we have between the state, the township roads, and agriculture in the Commonwealth. Couldn't be any more important topic, really. You know, the importance of agriculture in the Commonwealth uh, is uh, doesn't need to be highlighted uh, by me anymore. The important role the township uh, uh, folks have, a second class township in particular across our state, uh, and their coordination with PennDOT to make sure that we can deliver the safe movement of traffic during winter events, uh, or even sometimes summer events with, with flooding and such. Uh, the coordination that we've had with PSATs and with second class township just been tremendous through the years, uh, and the ability to deliver you know, that safe movement of, of uh, commerce and goods to the farm community, especially important. Uh, what do you see coming up in the next few years uh, with transportation? I know we have to figure out a sustainable way to, to fund it, um, and that's a, it's a tough that's a tough nut to crack. Well, uh, thankfully, the uh, the budget that was enacted this year preserved $125 million that would have been shifted to the state police. The state police, of course, get fully funded out of the general fund, and, and the preservation of that $125 million uh, uh, reduces the obligation from PennDOT to the state police to $375 million. Uh, that's a lot of money that PennDOT supports the state police with. Uh, it's uh, the governor's goal and my goal to have that money shifted and preserved within PennDOT so that we can be more re uh, reactive uh, with respect to dealing with the township uh, and the road network that we have across the entire state. Well, Mr. Secretary, you have always been a, a great proponent of PSATs and the partnership that we have. Thank you so much. Uh, we look forward to working with you. As always, mm -hmm. uh, you've been a great partner and a great friend of PSATs. Well, thank, thank you. you. And I really value what PSATs does for the elected officials that serve in these second class townships and the residents that live there. We have thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of folks that, uh, that are dedicated public servants across our Commonwealth and so many of them serve in second class townships. Thanks for what PSATs does. Uh, I value the work that you all do. Thank you, sir. Enjoy Thank the farm you. show. Thanks so much. Um, we're here again with uh, Representative Tom Jones uh, at the 2024 Pennsylvania Farm Show. Representative, as a former township supervisor, you understand right. the importance here of agriculture in the Commonwealth. What do you think about the farm show and, and what's going on here this week? The theme of the farm show this uh, this year is connecting communities. That's right. And so um, I've come onto the ag committee uh, in the house and uh, it's my first uh, experience there was actually going to Philadelphia uh, for urban ag. Um, so there's a lot happening uh, where you know that connectivity is starting to happen, uh, where you know fresh produce, um, you know products from our farms, you know, are connecting with uh, the uh, urban community, uh, where they they haven't had the experiences that some of us have had who live in you know more rural uh, you know counties and townships. Uh, I'm from Lancaster County, uh, from East Arnold Township, Lancaster County, number one in the nation for ag preserve. Right number one township in the in the nation or in that county, East Iowa Township. So literally come I come from the area that's number one for Ag Preserve. Um, so understanding the value of that, uh, not only aesthetically, uh, but functionally and for the production of food to feed our community, food to feed the state and feed the world. So it's it's an important partnership. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, make sure that gets done. Representative, you've always had an open door to PSATs and mm -hmm. very much look forward to working with you the rest of this uh, this term mm -hmm. uh, and in the next term. So yeah, thank definitely. you so much for your yeah. Appreciate what you guys do. Um, you know, as a former township supervisor, uh, when I became a township supervisor, the value of PSATs, the value of the boot camp, um, getting to know uh, just to get your just to get your feet under you uh, as a township supervisor, and what all of our township supervisors, uh, you know, have to to uh, to gain from their association with uh, PSATs is just phenomenal. We appreciate you. We look forward to seeing you at the conference. Hopefully, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So I'm here with uh, the. Uh, Republican Chair of the House Agricultural Committee, Representative Dan Mao. Mr. Chairman, thanks so much for joining us. Hey, wanted to just, uh, you know, ask you about the important partnership between townships, local government, and our agricultural community here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Oh, it's extremely important, no matter what part of Pennsylvania you're from, even in the inner cities now, even though you don't have townships in the inner cities, agriculture, uh, urban, urban agriculture, agriculture is, is, is up and coming, yes. And I think it's extremely important that every county, every township, every municipality recognizes agriculture. It is our number one industry here right. in Pennsylvania, and truth be told, without it, 
we don't eat. Right. And some of us like to eat a little more than others. <laughs> Thompson's have a lot of roads. Yes, um, they do. More than PennDOT. And one of the things is making sure that we're able to get those products to the marketplace to make sure those roads are passable and they're usable. So it's an important partnership that we have with the state and the local government. Yeah, there's no question about it. Uh, you know, uh, townships do play a huge part in it. Uh, you know, what, what always uh, irritates me is when someone gets behind a piece of farm equipment going down a township road and they start honking the horn. Right. Do you honk your horn when it's time to eat dinner? No, you got to keep that in mind. These guys are working. They're utilizing our township roads, our state roads, some of them, uh, you know, to get their job done so that they can feed us and literally feed the world. So there has to be the handhold between the townships and our farming community. It, they, they are very important to our farming, you know, to, to our society as a whole. Mr. Chairman, you've been very good with working with the townships. We very much appreciate you taking a moment. We're going to go enjoy the farm show. I've got uh, Chairman Ed Pashinsky, uh, the Chairman of the, Pencil the House Pennsylvania Agriculture Committee here at the Farm Show. Mr. Chairman, thank you uh, so much, first of all, for your, for your help uh, with working with the townships of the second class across the Commonwealth and, uh, and coming here and inviting us and having us here at the Pennsylvania Farm Show. And just want to get your, your thoughts on how important this is and the partnership with townships across the Commonwealth. No, it's, it's perfect. Uh, the bottom line here is bringing people together. Uh, connecting that's the idea and I'm gonna add another word understand mm -hmm. there's quite a big difference between living in a first-class city as opposed to second-class city third-class city sure. first second class townships and so on sure. and people have to understand we're all different based upon the geography based upon uh, the kinds of products that are produced in the areas based upon the needs in there um, I also have the opportunity to serve on the Center for Rural Pennsylvania. Right. So we've done a lot of research regarding our rural areas. We need that. You know, the, the agricultural industry is, you know, born and raised and continues on in the rural uh, aspect of Pennsylvania. Sure. But because of the fact that it is so rural, we don't have the communication. We don't have the hospital network. Uh, children don't have the same education because they don't have that connectivity, you know, with the uh, internet, et cetera. Sure. So we are addressing that and uh, we've had several hearings. We've traveled all over Pennsylvania so that we also understand uh, the concerns. So when we come back to Harrisburg and try to get into the conversations to address those concerns, we have that first-hand experience. And we've been a partner of PSATS and appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, working on broadband in particular yes. and making sure that the unserved areas those agriculture more and more agricultural equipment runs on the internet so it's truly remarkable yep, uh, really what's uh, the the innovation that's coming out there it's almost like as for for me as a kid if i would have seen that you know that was like wow that's outer space right that's like beyond right. okay and now it's a reality so now we have to be able to address that in a way that we can provide those services to all our Pennsylvania folks. And again, recognize the fact that whether you're a big community or a little community, we all have a role to play right. in the state of Pennsylvania. Right, well, with, you know, our second class townships cover about 95% of the land mass of the Commonwealth. So a lot of it's farming Absolutely. and agriculture. We very much appreciate your leadership, Mr. Chairman, and thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your farm show. Thank you for having me. Thank it's you. Appreciate it.